morning, good evening, and good afternoon to you one and all. This is Little Daffodil coming to you today from my survival world. Uh, I have gone out today looking for a cat. I've already caught one. Um, there was a jungle a couple days walk south of my survival village. And when we last spoke in the last episode, I worked on texturizing the quad and flowers and hills and just kind of working and making it a little more interesting. Took out that tree. We also talked about my putting in the butcher and baker shop. And I, at the end of the last episode, I made it clear I was going to work on it this episode. So that is why you're getting a jungle intro, because I did already work on that. So we're going to go back in time and take, ooh, another cat. An okay, because I want two. I want two cats. So I need to go catch me this cat. And we'll talk about those. Ooh, that was another one, wasn't it? There's a couple around here. All right, well, I'm going to go get me another cat, folks. In the meantime, go ahead and watch this footis, footage, footies, footies, we're playing footies, footage, about those downtown shops. Honestly. A cat? Yay! Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Come on. You know, I'm, I'm remembering that this down here, or I'm realizing this down here is where the well was originally for this village. And so I'm, I'm digging in a basement for the butcher shop, which is going to go here. And then there's going to be a basement. And I think under, yep, you'll see there's the old well. And I think down there are a bunch of bad things. So I keep hearing, I keep hearing these, uh, zombies and I think that's where they're coming from uh, but I am I am cleaning this out because basically this is this is the conceptualization the butcher and the baker they have shops next to each other now the baker obviously is going to need an oven okay so I'm going to need to build an oven space in here uh, this is their apartment space but they're going to need an oven space so that's going to warm the butcher shop well the butcher shop has raw meat in it, so they're going to need to store that in the cold. So they're going to have a basement down there to store the meat in the cold. The meat's going to be delivered. It's not going to be butchered here. It's going to be sold from here. Even the baker is going to cook here, but the butcher is not going to butcher here. The butcher eventually will have to make a, a place for them to process the meat over by the, the animal pens. And then it's brought over here for sale um, to whomever comes to the market area, which is essentially the downtown. Um, we still have the market stall, but that's for people coming in from the outlying farms kind of a thing to come and have a place to sell their goods. But the butcher and the baker will always be in town since they're among some basic food needs. So this is a really narrow space though. I'm, I'm kind of, I kind of, when I started laying this out and using the original naturally spawned village, I didn't really think through how much space I might need, how big I might make things. You know, I kind of, I started with the inn and then I built my base and I started kind of plopping a house here and plopping a house there. And of course, we've got the little residential circle building over there. Didn't really stop to think how much room I might need in order to put shops down here. So I think these are going to be the only shops that are actually going to be in the center of town. This will be where you can come to get your bread and your meat. And um, I may end up actually eventually, well, we'll see where it eventually leads, but I could see myself someday tearing these out and making a commercial district off to the side and just letting this be the center of town with the chapel and the mansion, the, my house, not mansion, but my house and the inn kind of being the, the, the center of this area of town with, you know, there's a little house here and a little house there. Maybe a library. Oh, I should build a library. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to build a library at some point. I love a library. Now, in the meantime, all right, enough babbling about libraries and other things. Why is that and that? Oh, that's andesite. Okay, so I'm going to finish uh, cleaning out the basement area. I think I'm going to line the basement with granite, which, of course, is I have it skinned uh, differently than than... So it's not vanilla and granite. It's... Ah, that's the... That I was getting stuck... On something there now I see what it was there was one of those hidden shadowy block things all right uh, anyway I yeah I'm gonna line this with granite it never proceeds as you think it will so I have been working away at the baker and the butcher shop and I have made a few decisions first of all they've become very low profile because they're mostly underground 
I've also decided that the people that work these shops are not going to live here. You know, I, when I built the blacksmith shop, one of the things that I did was I connected the blacksmith's house uh, or put it really, really close right behind. Uh, I thought that would be the way I would kind of go with the whole around the square area is that you would have shops connected to where people live. You know, the innkeeper sleeps somewhere in here, maybe. The apartment above, which I only occupied for a while. You never know. The uh, the farm that was over here used to have somebody living in that little hut. You know, the, the person who takes care of the chapel is going to live nearby. But I've decided that I really, really, really do not want this structure going high enough to accommodate a living space. Because I really don't want to cut the line that the chapel ends up being. And the chapel, you know, that was a, a later addition to the plan. So... We're going to accommodate that. Um, this is also becoming so much more of a textured area. It's becoming very different uh, from what I thought it would be initially. But then, of course, initially I was seeing a revamped vanilla village. I wasn't seeing this. And, um, you know, I think I'm liking this. I, I really am. I'm not sure where it's coming from, but, uh, but I'm not going to fight with it. So... And, you know, I'm actually, I'm looking at the flowers over here. And then I look at over here. And I'm wondering, I'm, I just might need to reconsider, take some of them out, and go a little tidier. At least this side of the chapel. And maybe closer you get to the chapel, there's more. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. But well, I'll do that in a few minutes, and we'll show you that before the end of the video. Uh, in the meantime, let's take a look at the structures as they are now. They're not done. Um, there's been a lot of trial and error and bounce and forth and back and forth and forth and back. Now, um, you will see some that, that the entrances are similar, but not exactly the same for the following reasons. Okay, in an earlier clip, I mentioned that I wanted the butcher's shop to be somewhat compact, um, basically you come in and you make your purchases. There's going to need to be some kind of, of counter here and some display of product, but the product is going to mostly be stored down here. Uh, I need to get some ice and I want to make this into a cold storage area, which is where that they will keep the cold meats, which are actually butchered and processed at another site. This is the back door where deliveries can be made and taken directly down there. Though I just realized I need to probably make that a stair. Then here is the back of the baker shop. Let's go around to the front. And you can hear the zombies. There's a place under there where the old well was that the zombies are living right now. I'll have to clean that out at some point. Now, the other thing you'll no have noticed most likely is there's no windows in the butcher shop. I don't want any sun coming in and spoiling the meat. Whereas in the baker shop, we can have some sunlight and we can have some air. Uh, to help. Oh, I haven't tested this. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work. I got to figure this out a little bit more now that, especially now that I've decided not to attach an apartment to the back of this, I can kind of rework this entrance a little bit. But basically, you're going to come in here. I think I'm now that I'm not going to put the apartment in, I think I might even drop it down a little bit more and put an oven on the back. There's going to be a small basement underneath where you can go through into the butcher's area. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop it down another, I don't have any with me, uh, any more diorite. I'm going to drop it down a level. So let's see. The height should now, if I drop it down a level, it's really going to be low too, unless I drop the floor too. I think I need to rework the entrance with thought that I'm not going to have the apartment. So I can even push the doors back one more layer. I really do want to have the windows up there. So now, well, yeah, open backwards. Oh, bad door. 
There we go. So now I could put something overhead, just not right here, down there. Uh, and if I took out the stairs, that wouldn't work either. All right, so I'm going to finish working on the baker's shop, the, the layout, and I'll bring you back in once I have the outside of the structure built. And then it'll be time to start um, getting the insides looking like some kind of actual shop and integrate the whole thing visually into the village. This is definitely coming out different than I had it in my head. <laughs> <clears throat> so I've started working on the brick oven. I've got the shape of the buildings done. So this is the entrance for both of them now. They're very matchy matchy, but one is a, a block forward. So it's not as, as uh, boring as it would otherwise be. And the roof lines are well matched. Um, as far as the general outline goes. Of course, we still have the back door, which takes you into the back of the butcher shop, which leads you to the other side. Oh, I've still got to put a floor. I got to put the rest of that floor in. Whoops. Okay, we'll get to that. Oh, and plus, actually, while I'm here, I should probably just drop a few torches until I can get back here and clean this up so that things don't spawn down here, which is quite likely to happen. All right. So let's get back up here and go out the front of this one into the front of that one. And here we are. This is the baker's shop. And the baker's shop, of course, needs an oven. So this is what I'm working on right now, which is the oven. And I'm actually just now realizing it's going to need a chimney. It really is. So I'm going to need to put a chimney up through there. In the meantime, we'll build the inside, but then we'll do the chimney line. So if I put those, they're going to come right down over those coals, which is not what I want. I do something like that, maybe. I'm kind of making this up as I go along. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what a brick oven would look like in real life. I don't know how to make that shape out of blocks and have it actually look good. This actually is kind of working for me right now. So what if I did that? That works. I kind of like this. What if I did that? Oh, well, that's going to cover up your hole. No, I don't want to do that. That's why you put slabs there. Oh, silly me, silly me. That kind of works. Let's put those back there. And maybe put that there. I kind of wish I find, could find a way to give the illusion of flickering fire. Maybe... Come here, brick. Oh, I've lost that brick. Okay, that's all right. Now, because you can't really see that it's there, can you? What if it were sort of sticking out? <clears throat> I don't think that adds anything, does it? Not really. I want to put a fire right there. Right there. Well, I think the only thing I could do is get another magma block, which I'll have to run back to the house to get. And that'll give the illusion of there being fire there. That's the closest I think I can come. If I put lava in there, lava is too full of motion for what I want. I should have just grabbed a stack of those in the beginning. Um, so that's not quite gonna work. Uh, and I put a torch in there and well, you saw how that turned out. So didn't like that so much. So let's take out this and put in some more magma block. And can we pick that up? Yes, we can. 
Put that there. And then you can kind of imagine they do, they put the bread in using a long handle onto those platforms in the back of, of bricks, you know? Let's, and let's add another one. And then we take these out, trade them for those so it all matches. Yes, yes, I know. And put that back. That's not bad. I don't love it, but it's not bad. What if I took those out? Because then you've got shelves for other things. Put that back there. Because the one thing about built-in ovens is there's always multiple ways to use it. You have your primary heat source and then you have secondary offshoots of heat and you can, you know, hang cook pots and that kind of thing. Hmm. All right, I think we're going to go with that for now, but we need to put up the Ooh, excuse me while I just run myself in circles. So let's take a look at what we've done today. Let's, the buildings here, of course, they were to be the butcher and the baker. And I am at a point where I'm not entirely sure that that's what they're going to be. Um, as with this entire project, from the moment I started in this world, it's all just kind of being made up as I go. Because every time I do something, something happens to change my mind or my perspective. Now... One of the things about this building here is, of course, I had to build a chimney. Who in their right mind is going to cite a chapel like that and right behind a building like this? Who's going to do that? I don't know, but we have done that. You could say, I guess, that this village evolved over time based on what was there. Um, I don't know, but clearly I need to do a better job of anticipating how much space I might need if I'm going to lay out a village. That kind of happened a little bit with the houses, which is why I ended up building the housing circle in the back end of the village, uh, which ended up being an experiment in different housing te textures all the way back there, uh, which is now where the villagers are huddled up. At some point I'd like to try and move some over here too. <clears throat> but Either way, um, these buildings are here and they're going to stay. And this, with the oven in the corner, I kind of like how it turned out. Now this building does not have access to its basement and I don't want to move the oven. I like the oven. I like the way it turned out. So I think this is going to end up staying as a bakery. I'm going to go ahead and try and trick it out somehow interior-wise to give it the feeling of a store. This one, which was originally intended to be a butcher's, I think I'm actually going to make it something else because I really don't want to put a butcher shop here. I, I think I am going to just go ahead and put that near the animal pens if I do build one. I think this might be a vin, vin okay, a, a wine and beer, a spirits shop, apple cider, whatever. So you have your bakery, and you have your liquids, and you have your blacksmith, and you have your spiritual center, and you have a you know a place where people can come and sell their goods on uh, any given day, and then you have your inn, and you have the head honcho's house with the, the, the stable, and armory, and all kinds of stuff. It's really a mishmashy of a village, isn't it? I mean... I think at some point I'm going to need to, let's go into, is that it? Nope, that's not what I want. Uh, let's go into game mode, let's see how often I do this that I remember that. Ah, creative. Let's go up here for a second and back away. Because I've really built quite a few things and then there's all the stuff that's in the nether and then there's the second village that I started working on which I don't have a lot there yet but I have been working on it so I've done quite a bit here but what I haven't done is given the whole village cohesion 
and a story that kind of fits. My ability to lay it all out is a problem at this point, I think. Uh, but it's my first one. It's my first go at it. So I don't think I've been a complete disaster. But it's all right. Done quite a bit, though. I really hadn't thought about it in so long. I hadn't looked at it all in so long. I think I'm going to have to call this the end of this episode, folks. Um, although the buildings I've been working on still need more work. I think what I'm going to have to do is evaluate where the survival world is at and see what I want to do with it next. Whether I continue in this village or I start another one and I try to come up with more of a plan, a pre-plan. I think I'm going to actually get some paper out and do some drawing and see what I come up with for some kind of a, a layout plan. I've learned a lot so far from what I've done here in this village. I'm really pleased with a couple of the things I've done, especially the stables and the armory. I really like those. The chapel is absolutely beautiful in my mind. I think it's just, it's light and airy. I do wish I could do something a little more interesting with parts of the roof line in the front. The, there are parts of all of this that I really, really like, but I don't feel like I'm building something cohesive here. Hmm. So I think I'm going to have to think about that. If you have any opinions and this video hasn't been out for very long when you see it, please leave them below because this is a part where I wish I did have people watching the videos regularly because input is welcome. Thoughts, ideas. It's the reason I watch other people's videos is because I'm looking for things that inspire me. It's like when I'm working on a project at work. I show people what I'm working on and things they say trigger me into new trains of thought. That's part of the reason I enjoy what I do both at work here and here at home in Minecraft and other games because I like that inspiration, that spark, that bit of fun. So if you have any thoughts and this video hasn't been out for ages, please go ahead and share them below. I'll appreciate it. Believe me. Thank you all for watching and I hope you had an excellent new year.